Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shannon, and if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Um, so today I am doing this hairstyle, super easy, super fun. Um, it can literally take like from start to finish, maybe, maybe 20 to 30 minutes, depending if you're slow like me or if you're super fast, it just depends. I suggest this hairstyle to anybody who just wants a little bit something different. So I hope you guys enjoy and please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and let's get into it. do this oh my hair my nose so all I've done so far is just separate what I'm going to be um, putting in the rubber bands and what I'm going to be leaving down so you can see I got this little come over thing going on so let's get started <sighs> get a little closer there we go. okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this down um, so I made sure my hair was a little dry the first time I attempted to do this my hair was wet and I could not Grip my hair to save my life So I'm going to I have my comb. It would probably be easier with a comb. That's just um, one layer of bristles instead of the back and forth, but It's all right And I'm just going to start with a section um, this always takes me the longest. Like when my hair is washed, no product, no nothing, it literally is so silky. It's just silky. And especially at like where my new growth and all that is, it's just, oh, it can get a little frustrating to try to do anything with it. So the girl that um, I originally had gotten this idea from, I was on her Instagram the other day. I don't remember where her Instagram is, but I will put it on my Instagram. I'm probably in the comments. Um, she did it as triangles. So she cut it out, not as a straight line, but as a triangle, which I want to do today. So let's see. Because when you do it straight, um, I found out when I did it straight, as you see my lines not even straight right now, um, it, it doesn't look right. Like it just didn't, I didn't care for it at all. It, it just didn't look, it didn't look right. I mean, I'm sure people can get it to look right. Mine just happened to not, it didn't look right. All right. And then I got little black rubber bands and a little smoothing brush so I can try to get my baby, not my baby hair, but like my sideburns in this. And then I just grip it, grab this, and let me see, makes me look like I have like a natural facelift going on. And I do it more upward. So when you're doing it don't go back when you tie your rubber band or else when you go to put it to the side over it like it gets weird i'm telling you i'm telling you guys this because when i did this originally i did all those things like i was like oh my arms hurt i'm just gonna start going backwards but it's it's not a good idea it doesn't go over right all right And then I'm gonna grab my next section. And I'm going to come inwards like so. So I can start walking out. I'm telling you guys, this would be a lot easier if I could find my other comb that's not double. Cause this, with it being double, it like grabs it and it grabs it's just annoying it's just annoying. that's all it's just an annoying thing all right on to the next section and 
also doing bigger sections. Um, you can do small. I think on little girls it would look super cute with um, smaller sections. But on my head, um, the smaller sections, it just didn't quite look right. So you guys like this. <laughs> anyway, so I don't do smaller sections. I do kind of bigger blocks of it. But I am going to finish this side out and I will be right back. All right, so I have it over. It is, sorry, I was watching TV. It is all over in this little thing right here. So I have it over. Right now I'm just gonna go through and try to get my little baby hairs. I'm not, like I've said in my previous videos, I'm not someone who usually uses edge control because it makes me break out um, in my hairline. So I try to literally just use a little bit and that's just to, because I don't like using hairspray to do it, so I use as control. But I know um, this looks really good with the baby hairs down and everything. I just, edge control does not mix with my skin well. So I don't use a lot of it, and when I do use it, like I said, not a lot. So from here, you can do two different things. I'm just gonna pull that little piece back. So I got these little, Things. You can get them at a beauty store, you can, any of that. I got mine from, let me see, it was off of Amazon and they were $4. So I'm sure you could have got them cheaper than that, but those are the ones I got. So I'm going to pull this up so I can actually see what I'm doing. And they open up. Just a little bit. You can just go right over them. Mm -hmm. I like this look because I feel like it's like a crown. Like you're literally making your own crown. And I love that. Super cute. And it keeps your hair secure. And it doesn't take forever. I've done it where I've just put in the black rubber bands. And I felt like I was five. So that's up to you guys. So those are all covered. Next, let's handle this. So um, my hair is, like I said, it was dry and then I threw it up into a bun. So right now it is just, um, you know, you guys know when curls are combed out and there's no product in them, this is what you get like, it's like a crown, I'm telling you guys. But now I am going to wet this down and then we can put some product in it. I don't, um, so unless I'm doing something that calls for my hair to be picked out like this or if I'm taking photos or something like that, I'll totally let my hair just be all puffy and fun and all that. But in reality, this hairstyle for me, it breaks off my ends. Um, it dries out my hair. So I don't, this isn't something that like happens on the regular. Today it happened because I was trying to separate and I had the um, paddle brush and when I use a paddle brush in my hair, it combs out my curls. So that's why it's like this right now. But like I said, in all reality and in on, all, all honesty, this does not, no, I don't like my ends breaking off. I work very hard <laughs> to keep them together so I don't like them breaking off. So I will be back. I'm going to go wet all this and see you guys in a minute. All right, so my hair is wet. I didn't soak it. Oh, I have hair all over my hands. I didn't soak it because I'm gonna let it air dry and when you soak it, my hair it adds on time for air drying. So I took my water bottle, sat here, watched some Family Guy and went through and started wetting my hair like so now you can do your hair when it's wet the same exact hairstyle but like i said it just takes me longer because it's harder for me to grip my hair to get it into a hair tie so that's why i didn't do it but yes this is my hair right now nice and half wet half well less than half but like 20 percent dry Next, I'm gonna take some of the curl maker. I did a review on this in my last video and raved about how much I loved it. So I'm going to use it for today's curls as well. And put it through all of my hair. Let's see. All right. And just 
scrunching it through and making sure I get plenty of product. All right, so I'm going to let my hair dry and I will be back to show you guys how it all ends. All right, so I let it dry. I did um, use my diffuser for like, just to get it a little bit drier so I didn't have to wait for so long. But here we go. Um, so yeah, I like this hairstyle. Like I said, sometimes my bangs get on my nerves. If you have curly bangs, you know, some days they wanna cooperate and other days, they want to flip up, go the wrong direction, do anything, especially when they're shorter and not so long. So this hairstyle is a great alternative to that. And yes, I hope you guys like the video. And if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe below. And I will see you next time.